fam. Are you a Lorella fam lover? <laughs> thank you for joining me here today, guys. My name is Stephanie. I'm Gracie Jim. Thank you for joining me here. And thank, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. And I'm going to be showing you my Lorella box for the month of February. Um, each month, I'll be getting a subscription from them. I just want to try them out, see how they do. I uh, want to try out their eyeshadow palettes, their lipsticks, their makeup. You know, so... Um, yeah thank you for being here so today we have well for the month of february we have a subscription that's supposed to be like 70 77 dollars in value and we'll see what's in here so this is how the box looks like it has a little tissue inside with lorella on it Ooh, okay we got some stuff up here on the top so let's see we got a lorella tweezer but just not any kind of tweezer. It is plated, like a gold plated, rose gold plated tweezer. Nice, okay. And I love the, the slanted tip. Those are one of my favorite uh, tweezers, the ones that have the slanted tip. So I am glad to receive that. I also have, ooh, you can never go, uh, you, you can never go without a lot of uh, shader brushes. This is a nice big shader brush, you know, for the lid. This is, it just says model number LC15. This is the Lorella LC15 brush. Okay, so that's two products in here. Then we got another brush here. This looks more of like a powder brush, a powder brush, or, you know, um, let me see. It's the Lorella LC101. I could, I could only think of it being like a powder brush, either like for translucent powder or for, you can also do for like, um, the bristles look like they're kind of soft. So I, I, I wouldn't say for a foundation, but maybe for setting your, setting your skin with, uh, setting your skin with, with the brush, you know, underneath your eyes, uh, around your T-zone area. It's how it looks like and I like the handle it's kind of like you're able to grip it and I like the little point here it looks like a little little steak <laughs> all right so yeah that is that is the uh, the brush you can also use it like for highlight or like for blush so I think you can use this this brush is multitaskable for for any purposes that are for like powder purposes not cream but for powder purposes purposes uh, not contouring either because contouring requires a more flatter like kabuki brush. I mean, but you do what you do. I'm just giving you my opinion and what I feel like some of these brushes, you know, you know, are good to use for because I've tried them and and I know that I don't use, you know, the brushes. I don't use all the brushes the right way. Like, you know, I can give you an example of a lot of brushes that I don't use the way I'm supposed to use them. So... So I'm nobody to tell you how to use these brushes, but the way I use them, that's how I use the brushes. So no judgment on my part or no, no telling you how to stray away of, of how you do your, your makeup and what, what uh, tools to use to do your makeup. So the next thing I have is called, uh, we have some lashes here by Lorella is in the shade, the shade. It's in this style Chica. Why am I saying shade? Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Sorry guys. Uh, please excuse me. I can I can sometimes, you know, go a little, you know, go a little off here. So it's in the in the style chica, and I think this is pretty cute. I like them. They're not too thick, and they're not they're they're like natural, natural, and not too dramatic. So I like them. I don't even know if they have like a glue or anything on the inside. I'll find out when I open them and I and I use them. The next thing I have are in this in this bubble wrap. So let's open this bubble wrap up and see what's in here. Okay, I'll pull these out. Pull everything out that is not the eyeshadow palette. Okay. So the next thing I have. So so far we have so far we have two four products right now. So the next product we have here is the. A lip liner in the shade brown sugar okay. 
Maybe you were able to see that or not. Sure. Brown sugar. You can see it if it's a little blurred. I'm sorry, but I think you're able to see it there. It's called Brown Sugar. That's a lip liner. That's that's five products there. So the the so that's five products, right? Let me check to be sure. Yeah, five products. Five and then six and seven, and the palette is eight. So that is really good for the price that I paid. I paid twenty nine ninety nine for this. Um, for this subscription is $29.99 a month. So it's pretty much how much I pay for a BoxyCharm, which in BoxyCharm, I'm only getting up to five full-size um, products, but but uh, they're name brand. They're high-end name brand products that you can get in their box. And then this is a Lorello brand. It's more of like a smaller company or um, family-owned or business, or um, it's, it's like a smaller brand. It's a smaller company. So uh, they're giving me more products. They're giving me... Eight products. One. Yeah, they're giving me eight products in this box for twenty nine ninety five. So I think this is a really good box subscription for those who are looking to are looking into switching to more indie brand box subscriptions. You know, along with some other ones that I do unbox on my on my channel. Uh, but I can get to those whenever I get them. But in this in this video, we're gonna go ahead and just talk about Lorella. And I like Lorella. I fell in love with Lorella for, for a good while, you know. Um, I had bought some of their mystery boxes. I think I bought one of their mystery boxes. And I loved it because it had everything I needed. It had brushes. It had makeup. It had everything I needed. Um, I don't I don't think I have received any setting spray or any kind of skincare from them yet. But I do hope that one day they do put some kind of skincare in there for me. Uh, this is the um, Lorella Liquid Lipstick in the shade suede yes and these are shrink wrapped so let me go ahead and um open these up for you so you can see what the what the component looks like for the liquid lipstick i didn't show you the lip liner but we can tell it's the brown sugar i just want to see the really what interests me a lot is the the liquid lipsticks that what I'm trying to say is that that's the reason why I'm opening those up not the lip liners not so much the lip liners I pretty much have a lot of lip liners so I don't know who knows I might end up putting some some of these lip liners in a giveaway but I do want to see the liquid lipstick and who knows I might end up putting it in a lip giveaway as well if, if it's something that I've already have or something similar then I don't I don't want to keep duplicates of or dupes of products that I already have okay so oh wow this is different this is like a really bright berry toned shade okay do I want do I want to use this <laughs> do I want to keep this I probably might keep this yes then we have another lip liner in the shade cold brew and this is a more darker shade than the brown sugar. Cold brew. I hope you're able to see that name. This one's a more darker shade. I, is this an eyeliner or a lip liner? What well, says lip liner? So there's two lip liners in here. Not bad. I could have settled for an eyeliner, but I guess a lip liner would suffice. It's fine, you know. The last thing in here, the eighth product in this box, is this eyeshadow palette. They've been uh, they've been streaming it on Instagram for uh, for weeks now, and it says Lorella up here. Lorella, and it says Till Death. They've picked that type of theme for this one, they, for this heart shaped uh, themed heart shaped with a Till Death theme on it which is I don't know in a way it's say pretty interesting or uh, and here's the palette it's like this when you have a when your whole you know your heart heart is whole whenever you you whenever you feel like you're you feel like you know your heart is whole but then when somebody breaks your heart it splits open so you have a broken heart here so let's go ahead and open up each palette 
So this one here. So this one here has a more berry toned color story to this. Um, you have a white shade here. You have brown and you have like a burgundy shade. You have a yellow, you have a black, a red, a shimmer pink. And then you have another, uh, what is this? This is like a shimmer, a satin shimmer. Mm, I want to say black, but it's not really black. I think it's more like a charcoal color. Then this is a matte shade. And that's more of like a pinkish, like a nude pink. So yeah, it's just like in the more like in the berry toned very toned um smoky you can create like a really nice smoky eye with this side of the palette let's look at the other side of the palette here is the other side of the palette okay well i don't see the difference i do see a red the spread one here well i guess yeah this is a silver like a silver shimmer then you have a more caramel brown or like a like a warm brown here and then you have a nice shimmer highlight here that's like a champagne color then we have a matte shade here that is also like you know like a beige beige to nude shade and then we have another satin shimmer here that looks like a bronze bronze goldy shade then this one is more of a walnut colored matte shade this is a shimmered like green or teal I think it's like a teal shimmer and then we have a yellow shimmer as well here this would be really nice for a topper lid or in the inner corner really nice shade for that so yeah I might be creating a look with this eyeshadow palette you know because I have so many um this month uh february i think i've received a lot of product a lot well boxes and products that i've gotten eyeshadows for and and i you know want to try them out which i've already tried some of these eyeshadow some eyeshadow palettes that i've that i've gotten for the month of march so yeah um so yeah thank you for joining me here today that is everything that's in this box you know, not bad for $29.95. I think it's one of, of the more uh, cheaper and uh, more on the uh, more reasonable priced box. Uh, not high end, but hey, it looks almost darn near high end um, brand, you know. Uh, the only one that I'll be able to find out is by testing the quality of, of this of the Lorella product which I will be I tested out their first palette in January and it was good I mean so if I really like the way that that formula performed I think I'm gonna like the way this formula performs for this month so um, yeah so I think the price is very feasible for the way the price is going now with some of these subscription boxes you know so yeah um leave me your comments down below let me know do you have lorella do you like lorella have you ever heard of that brand um it's actually a um it's an indie brand it's actually um uh, like i think it's like a i want to say it's it's a, a sister company to like the b bella brand and they're like a his like latin owned it's a latin owned company and and it's woman owned I think it's woman owned a Latin owned company so let me know if you have you know if you have Lorella already if you purchased from them um, do you like their products is there something here that you like that you you're interested in um, is there anything that you would like for me to try you know to show to try out you know like maybe the eyeshadow palette maybe do like a try on let me know if, let me know if you want to if you want to see a try on using this palette and the products that are in here, you know, the lipstick, the lip liners, and the whole works that are in this palette. Let me know if you're interested in seeing me do a try on with this with this particular box. And um, yeah, thank you for joining me here today. And I'll see you in my next video. All right, y'all have a good, a great evening or great day. And I'll see you, see you next time. Bye.